you know, the rate of harassment and sexually transmitted diseases becoming expeditious in Indonesia? In Sleman alone, the number of sexually transmitted infections was found more than 131,000 cases. Moreover, in 2022, there were almost 340,000 cases of gender-based violence in Indonesia, including, you must know, the case of domestic violence that is being talked about these days, right? Well, don't get in a foster. Comprehensive education from an early age can be the solution to the root of the problem. We, Skora Cimsa UGM, feel the need to take action and make changes by initiating a community development called Sekapit, Sexual Education for Teen. We aim to facilitate young people in getting proper sexual education. We brought up the topics regarding HIV AIDS, gender-based violence, comprehensive sexual education, and gender identity by teaching the students of SMP Negeri 4 Kagli through bonding and several interactive interventions so that they will understand about sexual education and avoid sexual behaviors that can cause sexual diseases. After the activities, Skora Cimsa UGM got to meet the students for the first time during the bonding session. In the days leading up to the first intervention, we did two pre-project training with Tabu AD and Richards WPF Indonesia respectively. Following that, we shared the knowledge and did some group discussions related to the topics covered in the intervention. Before getting to the second and third interventions, Skora Cimsa UGM in collaboration with Dr. Gabriela Argi held an Instagram live talking about contraception. On the intervention day, we presented to the students the materials about HIV AIDS and gender-based violence based on knowledge gained in the pre-project training with Rifka Anissa WCC. The special thing is, we also had a selection of Dr. Kecil, MC Empower students of SMA Negeri Empat Nagli to become peer educators and role models for their friends. And this year, Sikatin presents its final intervention that aims to increase their knowledge regarding the topics of sexuality. We wrap up all the materials in the previous interventions and added a new topic about gender identity to broaden their knowledge. Initially, we conducted a gallery walk through discussion involving the elected Dr. Kecil as peer educator and a red ribbon challenge where the students could write messages to PLWHA on the banner. To evaluate the success of our program, a set of indicators were made and they were 100% achieved. We also conducted our follow-up in a very special and unique methods. We did it in the form of a before-after interview of students' knowledge about the materials, sharing session, poster competition, and some applications of attitude to what I've done. As we try to convey such an important and followable message through this activity, we also gathered six SNR partners. We hope that through Sakatin, the community will understand more about the topics and the positive impact on their lives by equipping them with the knowledge and the help them as they enter adulthood.